NSU Mars 6, a Mars rover team of Northern University is participating in University Rover Challenge 2019 for the very first time. Considering the experience the team gathered in Indian Rover Challenge 2019, the team is divided into five sections. Those are mechanical, electrical, software, corporate, and science. We're a team of 20 dedicated people with experience of two years on rover. But this is the first time we are participating in URC, which is a huge step forward for us and we want to tackle it strong. In our four-wheeler rover, the first problem that we encountered is with the suspension system and finally we decided to go with the SMP system, which is the surface mobility platform system. While designing the prototype, we tried out differential gear system, rocker buggy system and a few other suspension systems and considering all the aspects, the SMP system performed most effectively. We have designed custom made wheels for the rover which are 8 inches in diameter and 5 inches in width. We used a 1 inch rubber grips on the wheels which primarily acts as a better contact with the ground and secondarily acts as a shock absorber. Four DC gear motors have been used which are customized by our electrical team to make the motors more capable to perform the tasks in any circumstances. Each motor has a torque of 245 Nm, requires 12 volts of voltage and 2 amps of current in no load and 5 amps in full load to operate. The electrical team designed a circuit which supplies a constant current to evenly control the speed and torque of the motors. The team has designed custom made PCBs to minimize the circuit size. BTS7960B are used to control the actuators and the motors. We are using two microcontrollers, one to control the arm and the other to control the wheels. While working with the rover body, we had to consider a lot of aspects which includes the body weight, height and strength. We used metal bars to build the rover body and fabricated the individual parts of the rover in our workshop. One of the most challenging parts when building a rover is designing its arm. We have had to go throughout a series of trial and errors to perfect the arm and its movements. The arm is made by 1.5 mm stainless steel sheets. It comprises of four detachable parts, three, of, three for the movement, which are controlled by three actuators and one for the gripping mechanism, which is controlled by a DC gear motor. The arm has a total freedom of 60 degrees on the horizontal axis and can reach up to a height of 1.5 meters from the ground. The rover can lift weights up to 5 kgs. The software team is working over time on the GPS and compass based algorithm for tackling the autonomous tasks. We are using an ultrasonic sensor and image processing for obstacle avoiding and obstacle detection. For the science task, we designed an onboard testing and offboard testing system. After collecting the soil from the ground, the rover analyzes and tests the soil and sends back the test results to the control center. The collected soil is brought back to the base station for further examination. By comparing the onboard and offboard results, we can get an accurate measurement of the pH level, water content, and the electrolytic measurements of the soil. For the field test, we took the rover to Boshundhar residential area where we did some test runs on uneven landscape to check our suspension system and it worked out better than we expected. The main ground tests that we did are testing our suspension system, the gripping system, video transmission and communication. As IRC 2019 was our first rover competition, we learned from the mistakes and overcame those mistakes to stand in a better position.